Welcome to lesson 7 and 3 tenths, a fraction as a multiple of a unit fraction. Why are we learning about fractions as multiples of a unit fraction, you might ask? Well, we need to be able to look at a fraction and list multiples of that fraction. So this lesson is going to assist you with that process. So let's take a look at the first problem that I have here, 3 times 1 fourth. So basically we have the whole number three and we can represent that as letter A over here. And then we are multiplying times a fraction, one fourth. And that's gonna be my one over letter B on this side. So I want you to get used to looking at equations with letters or variables in them because you're going to see them from time to time and need to be able to understand what it all means. So when I look at 3 times 1 fourth, I can think of it like a picture. And that means I could drag this in here and I've basically got 1 fourth 3 times. And I'm multiplying that. So first I want to think about how do I go about that? Well, I could look at an addition equation. So I would have 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths. Or I can make a multiplication equation from that, which is what we have at the top there. 3 times 1 fourth equals 3 fourths. I get the same answer. So just a couple of different ways to think about solving that particular problem. So let's try to solve some others. So now I have 9 times 1 sixth. So basically, what does that mean? That means that I could have 1 sixth 9 times and add them all together. And what would I get if I had 1 sixth 9 times? I would have 9 sixth. If I multiply, 9 times 1 sixth, I also get 9 sixths. What does that equal as a mixed number? So if I do 9 divided by 6, I can only take 1 six from 9, so that's my whole number 1, and then I have 3 left over, so that becomes my numerator, and then I bring my 6 over as my denominator. So 9 6 is equal to 1 and 3 6, or 1 and 1 half, right? 1 and 1 half. Okay, so that is our first or second problem. So let's look at 7 times 1 eighth. What does that mean? Hopefully you're thinking that I had 1 eighth 7 times, right? If I were going to write an addition problem with those fractions. One, two, three, four, five, six, one more. Whoops. So when we add those together, what are we going to get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths for that answer. And again, if I just took the problem and multiplied 7 times 1 eighth, that is going to give me 7 eighths. So here we go with the next one. If we have 5 times 1 half, that would mean that we had 1 half 5 times. Don't forget your plus signs. We add that together, we get 5 halves, or if we do 5 divided by 2, that equals 2 wholes and 1 half. Now, if I asked you what is the fifth multiple of 1 half, you would say 5 halves. If I asked you what is the third multiple, of 1 half, 1, 2, 3, when I add those together, you would answer 3 halves. If I asked you what is the fourth multiple of 1 half, 1, 2, 3, 4, you would say 4 halves. 
So you might be wondering, what are we going to be doing in class? Well, in class we will develop an understanding that any fraction can be represented as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. Hopefully you've nailed it, but if not, don't worry, we'll practice some in class. See you then.